What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Taiwan? The global nerve center for semiconductors? Taipei 101, the tallest skyscraper in the world until the Burj Khalifa was built? Or the microchips that power everything around us from your car to your washing machine to your CNC machines? This is all true, but it misses something critical. Taiwan isn't just the heart of the digital world. It's a manufacturing powerhouse still holding that role to today. Take a walk through Taichung, and in five short kilometers, you could piece together an entire CNC machine from scratch. Ball screws? Absolutely. The casting? No problem. Motherboards, spindles, controllers? It's all made right there. They don't just manufacture it, they master it. Me and you can start our own builder and go, we like that sheet metal, we like this casting, put it together, buy a hundred and go sell it. Right. It's really, it's like a shopping mall. You go window shopping, because you have the sheet metal people, boxway people, you, you know, you can actually pick and choose what you want. For Taiwan, uh, it's made of the Taiwan is the most special machine maker. Yeah, because all the supplier is around us. Like for the machine, we will need a lot of spare parts. And we can all tell these spare parts around us in the middle of Taichung. It's a strange thing coming from a place where manufacturing is kind of treated like an old war horse something to revitalize, to bring back. Here, it never left. And there's no better way to see that than firsthand at Timtos, the Taipei International Machine Tool Show. This year, we got to visit with Practical Machinist for the 30th edition, three massive exhibition halls in Taipei, Taiwan. Walking in, you know immediately that this is not just another machine tool show. For starters, the president of Taiwan showed up and he wasn't just visiting, he was giving the opening speech. Imagine that, a world leader addressing a machine tool expo like it's the State of the Union. It tells you everything you need to know. Manufacturing isn't just a piece of Taiwan's economy, it's the backbone. And despite the same global turbulence we're all facing right now, Taiwan isn't pulling back, they're doubling down. 90% of the companies are all based in Taichung, within a, a radius or circumference of that 60 kilometers. So everyone's clustered together, everyone can have quick and easy access to different technologies. So I think in, in terms of Taiwan uh, and machine toy industries, we have been very, very focused on new technology. They really care what they want to do, and they really, and what's really nice is, it's like the old U.S. They're into the manufacturing and industrial site, and they really want to make the best product what they are. We produce the machine by ourselves, so we have our uh, engineer, we have our team to produce the machine by ourselves, so we can understand what the machine is special for that, and we will put our uh, original designer inside the, the every machine. These are locally made, all the materials are locally procured. Uh, we make this in Taiwan. We have accumulated more than 30 years of know-how of making the most precise uh, you know, products. And we have a, a very strong manufacturing team. Taiwan is putting a lot of research and development into the machines. Um, I guess it's, it hasn't had the best repu reputation uh, coming along. But uh, nowadays, when you look at all these machines, very high tech, a lot of automation, and now even AI is coming along. Taiwanese machines are, have improved a lot. You know how the machine tools business is big in Taiwan. Taiwan definitely, aside from semiconductor, I think machine tools is definitely one of the uh, hottest industry in Taiwan. It doesn't matter from ball screws to the machine. If you find the right vendor that they really care and want to take the information from people like me, you know, like this, but it's really exciting. I guess as Taiwanese machines are improving in their technology and advancing in that way, um, we are now looking into global markets representing Taiwan manufacturing. Um, and a lot of other countries are now seeing Taiwan machinery as, as growing and, and to reach those comparable to other uh, like Germany or Japanese machines. 80% of our uh, production value is, is through export. So right. we have to think more from the standpoint, of how do we be ahead of other competitors around the world, providing, providing new solutions to 
the customers in job shops, finding new ways to reduce their total cost of ownership. And these are things that we want to find with new technology. How do we do more with less? Once the show kicked off, the scale of it hit us like a freight train. What really stood out? The sheer number of machine tool builders, designers, and exhibitors that some of us had never even heard of before. Massive five axis gantry mills, very unconventional turning centers, automation so dense that it was hard to tell what was robot and what was part of the machine. Everywhere you turned, a new piece of technology you hadn't seen before was right there along one of the aisles. And then we started talking to people and something kind of felt familiar. The same challenges we hear about in the West, they're dealing with them too. So for me, I think I'm in a new generation. So uh, my classmates, my friends, like we are not really know about the, the future or some of my friends don't want to touch in this market. Yeah, because we don't know. So I think for the future and it is a test, we need to introduce our market to new generation, to the student, to the school, to let them know us more and they will join this market. Skilled labor is incredibly scarce. Young people just aren't flocking to the trades like they used to. And like us, they're turning to automation. But here's the kicker. Where automation in North America still feels like a luxury for smaller shops, in Taiwan, it's the standard. Bar feeders, pallet changers, cobots, these aren't the nice to haves. They're as, as common as a DRO on an email. Even in the mom and pop shops, they're running automation at a level that we rarely see back home, especially in comparable shops. But here's the thing, Taiwan isn't a cheap labor economy anymore, and it hasn't been for a long time. But the machines they're building, they're going toe to toe with some of the best German, Asian, European brands out there. But the real takeaway here, manufacturing isn't just a business. It's a national identity here. And that's something that we can all take a lot from, especially when we have the conversation about manufacturing in the West. We were told there are over 6,000 machine shops in a 35 mile radius around Taiwan and Taichung. And remember for a second, that all of Taiwan is only slightly larger than the state of Maryland. And yet there's an underlying current here you don't see anywhere else. It's a mentality of collaboration within competition. Everyone's fighting to get ahead, but somehow they're all still pulling in the same direction. What would you say to someone maybe from North America or from Europe who hasn't been to Timtos before? I would happily welcome them to check out the show. Um, there's plenty of great technology, advanced technology that's being showcased at the show. Basically showing how powerful Taiwan manufacturing and, and technology advancement could be. I think the very encouraged them can go here because you will see the, how the, it's a big uh, in industry in Taiwan and you will see the different way to make it. Not just a semiconductor industry, we have the, also another industry. And maybe that's why, while so many other places are trying to bring manufacturing back from the dead, here, it never died in the first place.